So this is uh, Lauren McDonald, who's a grad student at the University of Waterloo. And she's got here, this is a, a pretty simple, simple device here. And we're hoping to capture some of those plants that are growing in the, uh, in the pond uh, over the summer. And so these are just uh, coil ring binders and, and some plastic sheets that are attached to a wooden float here. So we've got a, a very sophisticated anchor system here, which is a rock uh, in some pantyhose to basically hold it in place and make sure it doesn't drift across to the other side of this, this pond. And uh, so we'll leave this in and this is June now and we'll be back later in July and then September and we can remove some of these strips and look at a, a lot of things. So I'll pass it off to Lauren and she's gonna actually just walk out. It's so shallow that we can walk out in these uh, ponds and uh, deploy them. And so there's various things we can look at. Uh, we can look at the actual organisms and, and try to identify different uh, uh, plants. So things like diatoms, which grow on the, in, on the uh, uh, surface of those plastic sheets. And then we can look at uh, things like stable isotopes um, on, on them as well to get an idea of um, uh, evaporation to, to precipitation uh, uh, and get an idea of some of the hydrology of the systems as well. What are the chance of bears taking that and eating on it and using it as a toothpick? Uh, it's possible. We're ho our, uh, our hope is that they'll still be there when we come back. Uh, they're kind of visible, so we're, this is going to be the first test. So hopefully uh, bears don't find that attractive and hopefully they're there when we come back. <laughs>